Hi, welcome to my channel created by Lady T. My name is Tatiana and in this channel I give demos on sewing, quilting, crochet, and I also do product reviews on all re related products, including talking about Bernina sewing machines and the Burnett, like the one behind me. Today I'm going to give a product review on um, one of my favorite websites that I follow. Bernina of Naperville. Um, I follow this channel on YouTube and um, I am also in the Fat Quarter Monthly Club. And I wanted to give a product review about this Fat Quarter Monthly Club and show you some of the few, a few things that I've made over the years um, when I've participated in this Fat Quarter Monthly Club program put on by um, Bernina of Naperville. And the person who um, does this is Gail and she's wonderful. Uh, she has a beautiful shop in Naperville. It's in the Chicago area. If you're ever in that area, please um, go to her shop. It's a great shop. She's got lots of fabrics. There's a huge classroom and it's a Bernina uh, store and there's great Bernina sewing machines and if you have any questions about a Bernina or you want to get a Bernina please contact Gail. I have all of her information in the description box as well as the Fat Quarter Club um, that I'm part of and I want to say that I started this Fat Quarter Club during the pandemic about two years ago and what the Fat Quarter Club is, is once a month, you get a package of Fat Quarters like this. There's about five of them, and they come in this little, um, cute little package that you can actually keep, do the project, or give it as a gift to someone. And um, you can make the project and give it as a gift to someone, or you can make the project to learn something about sewing skills. Also, every month, in, in addition to the um, fabric, you can download the monthly um, handout, which I have here. This was the March handout, and it was to make a weighted doorstop. And here is my weighted doorstop that I made. And um, I learned a lot of new skills with this particular um project because there were things that I couldn't do. I got to practice couching and um, I did my couching skills over here, which was really fun. Um, I'm still learning applique, so um, I got to practice applique and I have this great little doorstop now that I can use anywhere in my house that I'm really excited about. So every month what you get is um, the handout and also um, there's a video tutorial that comes with it and then um, all the materials that you will need. You could get the fabric from Bernina of Naperville and um, they will ship it to you. But you can also, if you don't live in the Chicago area, you can buy a whole bunch of quilting and sewing things and fabric from um, Bernina of Naperville. And what I like about this particular um, Fat Quarter Club monthly project is that you don't have to do it every month. They don't build, they just send you a, a, an email that offers the subscription, but you don't have to buy it that month and you don't have to do it every single month if you don't want to. So you can pick and choose which months you want to participate in. And also um, these projects are on the YouTube channel as well as um, on the Bernina of Naperville website. So if you made something and you really liked it and you want to make another one with different fat quarters, you can do that as well because the projects will always be there. I personally like to um, download the, um, the, the project and print it out and I have a folder that I keep them in. And um, I keep these like as a reference for myself. I'll make notes on there about what type of stitches I'm gonna use and how I'm going to proceed. Sometimes I don't necessarily follow everything that Gail says, sorry Gail, um, but I make it my own which is a learning experience as well. So I like that I could do that. 
This was actually, this fabric packet, it was actually a circus fabric pack to make a circus bag. And um, I have the video at the bottom, but I didn't want to use it for a circus bag um, selfishly for myself because my friend's son is having a birthday next month and I'm going to make a project for him. I'm going to make um, a backpack for him with this. And I thought this would be really cute and give him some circus toys and a circus book and a little backpack. So that's what I'm going to do with these instead of the January project. So um, sometimes you could just use the fabric for something else that you want. So I made the March project that I showed you with the doorstop. Um, the February project for this year, oops, sorry, was um, making this wonderful hearts quilt. And um, I followed the instructions and I have this little hearts quilt that I'm actually going to use this as a wall hanging in my sewing room right over here. So it's really kind of cute and has cupcakes and it's supposed to be for Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it all year round because I really love hearts. Um, another few, uh, past project was these pot holders. Um, mine's gotten very dirty because this is, was in my kitchen. We did these last July. Um, I, I, I should be washing them before I make a video on it, sorry, but I just used it this morning. So they're pot holders. And um, another project was making these wonderful napkins, these very fancy napkins, um, but which I did several months ago. And I use these when I have people over for lunch and dinner, and it's really kind of cool. Um, my favorite project was this scrappy um, hat that I wear this hat when I go hiking, and it's really kind of cool. And um, you've got a download pattern with it. And I've made several other hats, but I've never made another scrappy hat. And I actually get a lot of comments on this um, hat. It's, um, I get a lot of compliments and I really enjoyed making this hat and I have it in my car. And so I use it all the time. Another project was making these little um, weights for sewing. And that was really cute. And I have it here in my sewing room very nice and um, very helpful and useful project here. Um, there was um, this pin cushion as well that we did about a year ago and um, it's really pretty and it was just my colors. I, I think Gail picked the right colors for the month of May project in 2022 last year because pink is my favorite color and we did this project and it was really cool and fun and I really enjoyed doing this project. Another project that we did was making these bags. It was for November um, several years ago uh, around Christmas time. Actually, I gave the ones that came with the project away as gifts, but I made these bags for myself for my own sewing room. And I actually put these weighted weights um, inside here um, for myself. So I have a little sewing um, fabric that I actually did get from Bernina of Naperville as well um, when I ordered my... Um, project for previous classes. Um, another one I really enjoyed this project was a Tula pink fabric, um, making a pin cushion with a little um, holder for your scraps and your thread. And this goes by my sewing machine. I actually made three of these, but I lost two. So I'm planning on making two more and I'm really happy that the instructions are still up and um, I can go back and make more because I have more Tula Pink um, fabric fat quarters in my stash that I'm planning to make two more of these. I don't know how they got lost, but they got lost. Anyways, that that's one of my stories. And the April project for this month was um, to make these really cool fabric trays that um, I really enjoyed making. And um, I'm actually going to use these in my sewing room as well to store my um, things that I need on hand while I'm sewing. And I've got one by my 770 and one by my 480. So this is really cool to use and it's very handy. So what I like about um, the Fat Quarter projects is that I learn new skills every month. Um, I develop myself as a quilter and sewing skills. Um, I learned different things about my Bernina sewing machine that I didn't know because Gail just takes you to all sorts of places with that. Um, she's very creative and she's very fun. 
Um, and I enjoy all the classes that she teaches, especially with this Fat Quarter Project every month. Um, I've learned a lot of new skills that I've incorporated into my sewing and making myself better at quilting and sewing. So it's been very, um, it's been a very delightful and meaningful experience for me to follow the Fat Quarter Club. You know, I encourage you to come and take a look. I have the link below. If you don't have a Bernina sewing machine, you can still participate in the Fat Quarter Club because um, many of the skills that you're using, you don't necessarily need to use a Bernina sewing machine. You can also customize the instructions for yourself in, in size and whatever. And um, again, like I, I said, I, I wanted to make this project for myself. Um, and then I decided I can wait on that because I don't really need, it was a handbag, um, a circus handbag, and I really don't need one right away, but I wanted to make something for my friend's son. And so these um, fabrics are really high quality and they're uh, beautiful and they're also um, very well packaged so that, you know, you could just get the fabric if you want every month and make something else with yourself. Uh, for for yourself, or you can keep the projects and and make more for yourself. Um, so I'm definitely going to make a lot more of these trays because um, I like them and I think they're very cool. And they would not just be useful in my sewing room, but they would be useful in other places. And definitely, this is like a godsend project um, because um, everybody who sews needs one of these pin cushions with. Um, a little space for your scraps while you're sewing. So this is a really good project to have as well. Um, very useful. The Fat Quarter projects have been very useful. It's a really pleasant experience. Um, I encourage you to check it out. And if you're in the Chicago area, go say hi to Gail and the staff at Bernina of Naperville. They're wonderful. Um, I was there in February and um, I took a couple of classes and um, I had a really wonderful time. And um, I'll talk about that in a later um, YouTube channel. Um, but also I plan to go back. Um, Naperville is a lovely little town. If you haven't been there, if you want to travel a little bit and see America, um, Chicago is a wonderful area and it's actually not too far from Oak Park. And um, if you like the arts, um, there's a, a, a Hemingway house over there because Hemingway grew up in Oak Park. And also Frank Lloyd Wright um, what lived in the Chicago area in Oak Park. And you can take a look at Frank Lloyd Wright's house. And even when I was in Chicago, I went to visit the Roby house in Chicago, um, not too far away um, from Oak Park. Um, at the University of Chicago. So you can you can plan your trip and learn a lot of things as well as quilt and sew and do a lot of things while you're there. Um, so you don't have to just go there for um, this sewing experience, although that's worth it in itself as well. But check out Bernina of Naperville. Um, send Gail a message. Um, she, If you're interested in purchasing a Bernina sewing machine, um, she will be the person that you should ask, or if you have any questions about Bernina or anything related to Bernina, you need, you could talk to Gail because she knows Bernina better than anybody I've ever seen on YouTube or anywhere. So, um, give them, um, give them a try. And if you're interested in trying new projects every month. So, um, if you like my channel and you want more information on quilting, sewing, and crochet, give me a thumbs up. Make a comment below in my on my um, on my Facebook. I'm, I'm sorry, my YouTube channel, um, and um, subscribe to my channel. I will have much more um, in the coming months. Bye for now.